Um, here, here's a here's a big subject, but I'm going to try and 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 make a condensate out a con a condensate out of it, or um, what we call a, you know what sound compression is, right? Sound buffering. Like for example, if you go up to Pirate Bay and you want to download a movie, it'll tell you that this movie is 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 runs for two hours, right? Okay. Or it could be an hour and 47 minutes. could be an hour and 37 minutes, 31 minutes, whatever whatever the minutes are. is sound buffered and compressed and held in a memory storage bin with a number that is associated with it so that the AI can hold it there for access. So that your energy, which is your consciousness, can uncoil the snake and then experience the frame rate speed right in which you're experiencing it frame after frame after frame which is known as an iso I, iso right much like the old 35 millimeter camera set the speed of the frame how much light is going to come in right i used to i used to i used to love photography particularly going up and all the travels that i used to go out and spend in yellowstone and canada not canada but um Northern Washington State, the Idaho Panhandle, all through Arizona, the Grand Canyon, Smoky Mountains in, in, in Blue Ridge Mountains, Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, just everywhere. It was just so beautiful, right? And so you could set the speed, but you need the film, right? Okay, the negative, the biofilm. And, and so in this particular case, what I'm thinking of is, is how we relate to what we call dependence, dependent mode codependent being independent and what it means to be independent or what we used to call self-sufficient so for example my father put me in a military academy at five years of age so that i could learn a number of skill sets in which he told me later was to learn self-discipline how to maintain self-discipline because the military is all about discipline which is all about following orders which are rule based functions which are ai computer based functions Okay, so you realize when there's one law of physics, which is the law of least effort, okay, there's only one law, which means take all your rules and put it where the sun don't shine, as we used to say as children, right? Which means they're inverted, which means they require all those rules in order to follow the instruction sets, which are represented by the AI programming, which is the integration, which is corporate military mercenaries brilliantly illustrated in the movie Avatar, right? So, so in other words, now we're in the communication systems and what we call natural communication systems. And if you want to think of dependence and codependence, or if you want to think of being independent and then having a relationship with everything else that is, that is communicating that you can communicate. I use my heart and soul in which to do that, which is a communication of light, which is a silent running transmission because it's something that we feel. So what we feel is the communication because we're feeling the energy communicate to us what we thus become aware of through the light, which is real living light, which is what love is. So love is communicating with us because we're connected to the source from which it all comes. That's an eternal love vibration. That's what allows you to be a guardian, right? So if you're a father and a mother and you are what love is and you naturally are going to protect your children by being having a higher state of awareness. I think we ought to move over here. Or let's go over here, right? So are you moving out of fear or are you moving out of protection? Because it means that you're sensing, you're detecting, much like a deer will, much like a wolf will, anything in nature. It's picking up on your signal by virtue of having an antenna. Now we're back into frequency wars, DNA wars, antenna wars, right? That's what they are. They're antenna wars time management tools and all the rest of that. Um, so what made this beautiful for me to be able to experience this in its simplicity was when I lived on the island of Kauai and I realized she was providing us with everything that we need. Right? The purity of the water, the living spirit that's in the purity of the living spirit that is in the water, right? Spirits, all the elementals are all in harmony with the great living spirit of Mother Earth. So all elements, all the living spirits that are all sacred temples, are all doing a dance together, which is providing for everybody that's here in spirit, which is a sacred temple of light, everything that we need. Which means we're not in dependent mode, we're in harmony mode. 
which means we're all thriving because our energy is thriving because we're all experiencing what love is and living spirit with all the elementals and all the other spirits that are in a spiritual realm. That means the spirit is thriving energy because the spirit is happy and joyful because spirit moves with the music, the waves of the math. So that's why I mentioned the other day about David Icke says something doesn't add up. Well, what, you're, what he's saying is, is that the math doesn't add up. So you know that the highest level musician is the highest level mathematician upon which creation takes place in order for us to experience what it is that we need in energy, which is what love is. It goes on forever, gifting. Right? So that's why when I was sitting in a, in a, in a what did they call them, high chairs, and out in our backyard we had orange trees, right? And I realized... Whoa, that orange juice tastes so good. Well, they happen to be Valencia oranges, which are very sweet. There's some oranges out on this property that are green that are actually sweeter than the Valencia oranges that grow in, uh, in Southern California or in Florida or wherever oranges are growing that are called Valencia because they're very sweet. They're smaller than navels, right? But you immediately acknowledge, wow, Mother Earth is giving us free stuff. Well, I didn't have to ask for that. No, it's called the fruit. Right? Free fruit. So she's gifting, gifting us all this. Yeah. She's a healing artist, the goddess of health and wellness. Yeah. So you immediately realize you have a relationship with the essence of a living spirit who has an oversoul in a biosphere. Which means she knows how to manage the place. Right? Knowing how to do the math and physics. Right? So that we're experiencing balance, harmony, peace, love. Right? We're all enjoying ourselves, having fun. Nobody's trying to hold somebody else captive. So you can imagine when people are experiencing being in a state of peace because they're experiencing what love is through all the ley lines, then you realize what's possible to experience here because now you realize it's unlimited by virtue of how that energy works, being what that is in energy. Because it's not seeking to hold anything else captive by virtue of who they are versus who we are that is. So love naturally frees your spirit, which means it frees your energy, which is your consciousness, which is your soul to be free. And the genius of that really is the frequency. So when I'm, I'm musing here this morning about some of this, of, um, of how um, the money system is, is used. So if I think about it in childhood and the difference between what it was like to be free. And it's one of the reasons, and you can talk to a lot of homeless people because I certainly have, and they echoed back the same thing to me, as they said, one of the, the beauties or the gifts that you began to realize when they were homeless is they actually felt free of the, of the leash and chain, which is the corporation, which is the money system, because it's all run through all their stuff, through artificial intelligence, to hold consciousness captive to what they are, through a corporate military network that they all run. Because this is how it sort of works, because I figure you probably get this one corporation that realizes, hey, I got an intelligence outfit because I have an AI that's letting me know what they're doing over there. But if you have all these corporations that come under one umbrella, which is really the same AI, then, this, then the same AI is providing information that allows these different corporations to become what? One. That's the singularity university, which is the singularity of artificial intelligence in which everybody's mind is being held captive to the hive. Now they're not going to know the difference between what it is as an AI mirror and what they are as a direct energy mirror of experiencing pure eternity. But you'll know the difference because you'll know that it's trying to hold your minds captive to what it is, which is its mirror, rather than what your mirror is, which is direct current, if you will, or what I call the purest of light to our heart and our soul, which is gifting energy forever. 
So if you've lit yourself on fire and you've surrendered all your soul's energy, if you will, in order for your soul to serve forever, in which there's no separation between what you are as a male, for example, with a female, and you become one, which means you're both the seed and the grower, then you're both a flower and your seed, and you experience being both because you want to be both, and you're on fire to be both. Because it means that you are on fire to be just as much what a birth giver is, giving birth to creation, as the seed that's providing it for the birth giver to provide it. So you're experiencing being both sides of what that is.